If you want to be seen as a thought leader in your space, then you're going to have to write. But the way that you organize those pages is critical to your online findability. Today we're going to look at how you become a keyword professor one page at a time. Today we're going to talk about how to be a true thought leader and not a salesman. When you think about someone you want to work with, someone who you're going to trust or hire, you want to make sure that they really know their stuff. Well, as a salesman, typically it's all about, are you ready to buy? Here's how great we are. Here's our services. Here's how you contact us. Do you see how that's all about what's good for them and not what's good for you? So when we're taking a step back and we're saying, how do we make ourselves look like a thought leader and not a salesman, we have to understand how to organize our content. You could write one blog post, you could write, write one page in your website, but that one page does not make you a thought leader or a professor in that topic. You have to have a body of work to prove that you are an expert in your space. So think about a professor. A professor on a major university must publish or perish. Now, why would you want to take a class from a professor who hadn't continually written content on his specific subject? Maybe some of you had some of those professors in school. You knew if they were up to date or not. So I've got to help you to look like the most findable, current, relevant professor one page at a time. But all the pages have to work together. So let's take a look at what we call a keyword mindset map or just keyword map. When we are looking at how do we impress Google about our knowledge, we have to organize it like a book, like our definitive thesis. The home page is the cover of that thesis. It's a cover of your book. This is going to be your most important keyword. Let's just do um, something simple like dog groomer. Okay, that's where I start. Now, most people think that every single visitor starts on the home page. That's just not correct. You want to think about it as this page can rank on its own, this page could rank on its own, but all of them together being organized is what makes it findable. So we're starting off with Dog Groomer Denver. That's the cover of our book. Now we have three chapters, chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three. Chapter one is going to be dog care. And then of course, dog wash and whatever other phrase we want here. Then we could come over here and we could say, oh, well, what kind of dog do you have? We could say um, show dogs, show dog grooming, okay? And then we could do um, show dog reviews because, boy, these people are high maintenance. They know what they want in a groomer and they specialize in that. So you'll see here we have chapter one is on dog care. Chapter two is on dog show grooming, and chapter three can be anything else you want to rank for. This could be like tips and techniques. And then of course, under here, you're gonna have all these different tips and techniques over time. This is the home page. You are an expert in dog groomers. I'm gonna put that under Dog Groomer Denver. Then it looks at the rest and says, oh, I'm gonna put that under Dog Care Denver. That's the page that ranks for that. I'm then gonna put a Dog Wash Denver. That's the page that's gonna rank for Dog Wash. And then we have, of course, uh, show dog grooming, that'll rank for that keyword, and dog show reviews. Then we've got the tips and techniques, and those could even be our ongoing blog posts. The trick is, where is the about us, services, testimonials, and contact us? It's not here right now, is it? No, it's there, but it's going to be in like the top right corner of your website. About us, services, testimonials, contact us. That's sales brochure. Remember, that's the wee wee. We do this and we do that and we do this and we do that. The wee wee's got to be there. But more importantly is Google wants to index thought leaders, not salesmen. You got to come out of the gate with a highly organized series of pages that are going to prove to Google that you are the number one thought leader in all of the nuances that people are searching. And it's amazing. So think about a website like a tree. That's going to be very funny, so bear with me. <laughs> All right, so the trunk, right? And then we've got, we've got the tree. So the trunk is really the website content, right? This is the, this is the web content. This is the stuff you know for sure. 
we do dog grooming, we do cat grooming, we do dog food, we do dog, all the stuff that's just core to your company. Then we have the leaves. Now these leaves are all the different things that are happening in social media, in your blogging, in trends. All right, so what you're thinking about is maybe one of the leaves are hashtags. Now, what's another leaf we could do? Well, we could do a video. Another leaf might be a blog post. Another leaf might be tweets. But remember, these are all leaves. The core knowledge are those pages I showed you. Those are the what I know for sure. They're all hyper-organized. That is your core content. The leaves are what make you an expert on a day-to-day -day basis. You're tapped into what's happening in trends. You're tapped into what's happening in video. You're then communicating that through tweets, Instagram. This could even be LinkedIn. It's the leaves that makes the tree grow, but the content itself ranks because of all of this other work that you're creating. So it's not about just creating content for content's sake. It's creating content thoughtfully so you look like a thought leader who is building all of and sharing all of their thought leadership out into social and of course using the hashtags to make sure that it gets in front of the right people. So remember it's not just about creating tons and tons of content that's not connected and just pushing it out there and hoping for the best. It's about being very methodical about looking like a thought leader. You have your website, remember that's your core pages and then of course you've got you've got to take what you know and share it all over social media but it has to be anchored in what you know for sure. This is the only way that you're gonna get Google's attention around what keywords you wanna rank for. So when you're thinking about rebuilding a website or building a blog categories, you wanna take a look at and say, okay, what is my homepage keyword? Remember, that's the cover of my book. What are the chapters in my book? As well as what are the, then the next topics that go deeper inside of those chapters? Google is going to love you on this all day long. I'm going to put a link below to some examples of other, um, we call these keyword sitemaps, and I have a bunch of these in my, in my book, Marketing Espionage. Chapter 10 has all of the org charts already pre-done, so I have a copy in the link below. I've got a copy, free copy of my Marketing Espionage book for you, as well as some uh, worksheets that you can fill these out on your own. So take a stab, start showing up as a thought leader and not a salesman, and Google's gonna love you all day long. So now that you've gotten a crash course on how to be a thought leader online, don't forget to sign up for a findability review with me. We'll take a look under the hood, we will run some reports, and we'll see how we can move the needle for you in your online marketing. The link is below. Pick a time that works for you, and hopefully we'll talk soon.